For dogs struggling with painful conditions, invasive surgery or medication may not be the only options. In today's e Eye on Pets, we take a look at how laser therapy could offer some much needed pain relief for pups. He's not riding a motorcycle, and he's not getting ready to drop a rap album. This dog is getting laser therapy. Laser therapy is the wonderful modality that we have to help with pain and help with healing. It brings blood vessels into the area, it increases the oxygen to the wounded area, the energy to the area, and so dogs that have laser therapy are much less painful. It allows us to get them moving better, it allows us to get them off of the, some of the pain medications they're on. It also offers much needed pain relief to animals who can't undergo surgery. So Bo is receiving laser treatment from Lisa. And he has um, a central nervous system issue in his brain, so he can't have surgery because we don't want to put him under anesthesia. Instead, they're shining a class four laser over any of his joints in need of healing. We keep the laser moving over the part that's being lasered. There's a red light that you see that's just for us to know where it is, but the actual light that works is invisible, and it's absorbed by the cells inside um, of Bo's body. And helps make him feel better. It's a sort of invisible science operating beneath the skin. It works at a very molecular level, so at the level of the cells. So when you shine this light in through the tissues, it actually helps to improve cellular respiration. And when you stimulate it with this light, it helps to produce more ATP, which is the energy that cells need in order to heal. And it requires that animals wear goggles, or rather doggles, while undergoing treatment. You probably saw the goggles. Um, in part, that is to calm them down so it's a little darker. Uh, the other part is laser therapy can damage eyes, and so it's a means for us to protect her eyes from any of the laser beams. Those laser beams may pose a threat to eyes, but their healing powers have people in awe. Some of them are rehabilitation, like for example for surgery. It makes the incision heal a lot faster. It also helps we do passive range of motion by moving joints that have had surgery so they don't get stiff. And the laser helps make it not painful for the patient, which is a really good thing. Little Sophie, for example, underwent knee surgery nine weeks ago. We're working on her knee to get it nice and strong. And also, when Dr. Brown was doing her exam, found that she has some weak or sore spots in her back. So at the same time, we're working on strengthening her back. The laser even works wonders on more minor cuts and bruises. Sometimes we're actually just treating wounds. It's not orthopedic rehabilitation, but dogs may have gotten bitten or they may have gotten a laceration or they've cut their foot. And the amount of healing, that, how quickly the laser heals without having to do anesthesia and surgery is incredible. And dogs don't seem to mind it in the least. We call it a spa treatment. A lot of people have a misconception that rehabilitation is this big workout. Uh, but for the most part, it's really a, a means of healing. It's a means for the patients to feel better during their therapy. Um, so we spend about a half an hour of that spa treatment where they get a full body massage. So you might assume that this dog is sedated, but she's not. She's just in a laser-focused state of relaxation.